Guten Tag, mein Name ist Andreas Dams. Hello, my name is Andreas Dams. I have previously shown you measuring technology from Testo in practice. As a refrigeration and air conditioning engineer, I frequently have to carry out inspections of refrigeration systems. Today I will be using the Testo Smart Probes refrigeration set on this test system to carry out current measurements of superheating and subcooling. I'm interested to see whether the set will make my daily work easier, in particular, whether it transmits and stores the measuring values straight to my smartphone. What is included in this set? The sturdy bag contains a temperature probe and a pressure probe for each of the refrigeration system's pressure sides. There is also a pressure and temperature probe for the low pressure side, and Testo is even thought to include spare batteries. At this point, I would like to record the condenser superheating on this heat exchanger. To do this, I need the pressure and temperature at the condenser outlet. I will connect the pressure sensor to the condenser outlet and firmly attach this to the system. I will attach this temperature probe to the suction line, making sure it is securely connected with the system. I'm now able to switch on both sensors. The transmission of the radio signal is indicated by the LEDs. At the same time, I'd like to check the subcooling in the system before the expansion valve. To do this, I will now connect the pressure sensor to the high pressure side, in this case, to the refrigerant collector. I will now open the angle valve and establish a connection between the container pressure and the pressure sensor, and at the same time, activate transfer by Bluetooth. The second measurement is my temperature reading, in this case, on the common liquid line at the top here. I will connect the temperature probe directly to the liquid line before the expansion valve, check that it's in the right position and switch it on. This is how it connects to my smartphone. All measuring points are now set. Next, I can initiate the Smart Probes app, already downloaded for free, and establish a connection. Our four sensors are detected by the instrument. The first thing we can do is select the refrigerant that we use in the system. In our case, it's 134A, which has already been preset. The high pressure probe reports a pressure of 8.7 bar, the low pressure probe 2.6 bar. The instrument automatically converts the respective evaporation and condensation temperatures, which we are then able to read directly. Both temperature probes report a temperature of 15.9 degrees Celsius at the condenser outlet and 36.7 degrees Celsius in the liquid line. The corresponding condenser superheating is also generated here automatically. In our case, 9.6 Kelvin is indicated and a subcooling of the liquid line of 1.6 Kelvin. All of this data is continuously recorded and displayed as a curve diagram. The data can also be displayed at the same time as a table. And all the measurement data are available parallel to this in table format. If this data is required in an Excel format, this is easy to do. For example, by creating a very detailed customer report. In this case, all measurement data and other information are recorded in a PDF document which can be sent directly to the customer by email. All of the Excel files are saved in CSV file format and as diagrams in JPEG format to be integrated into text files, thereby allowing an extremely complex final report to be generated. 
The measurement shows me that in this case we have sufficient subcooling of the liquid before the expansion valve, but the condenser superheating could maybe be improved a bit more. I'm really impressed with how quickly and accurately I've been able to take a measurement, create complete documentation on site and send it as well. The stable radio links are extremely beneficial when the measuring points are far apart, for example, in larger systems. It means that measurement cables are unnecessary, as well as hose connections filled with refrigerants. Incidentally, this is also an excellent aspect from an ecological point of view. I'm certain that the Testo Smart Probe's refrigeration set will help me considerably in my daily work on refrigeration systems in the future.